just launched in December is uh, the Giti Cloud, uh, a managed uh, instance uh, hosting provider, um, where uh, we uh, take a little uh, twist on it, where um, uh, some uh, projects where you host, um, you have uh, like selection of regions. Uh, what we've done is we've taken uh, that uh, ethos of flexibility in Giti and we've uh, applied it to Giti as cloud as well. Because more than just like, uh, you know, like your standard software as a service, you don't even get an insight into where in the world it's run. We not only let you choose where in the world it's run, but the underlying uh, technology provider. So if you're in the Western US, you can host there. If you're in Europe, you can host there. Uh, if uh, you have a preference for one provider or the other, uh, you can uh, select that way. And uh, this is super neat. I like it. And uh, so, and we allow customization, changing name, changing username, and password, um, and maintenance. So we'll have a window if we need to like uh, patch your instance for security, for um, just general upgrades or whatnot. And uh, you'd set that in like middle of the night, your time and you can hand that. And because we like, we handle everything, uh, there's the configuration and CI CD. Again, all that's managed by us. And uh, so uh, all you need to do is decide on how many uh, users you're going to uh, go with. And based on the number of users, you'll get a different quota, uh, storage limits of storing your repositories or package artifacts, such as like Docker images, uh, issue attachments, release artifacts and a number of uh, minutes for being able to uh, run your code. So you don't need to manage uh, your uh, CI CD runner as well. And uh, based on the number of uh, users you may have, uh, you'll get a discount if you pay yearly, you'll get a discount. Um, and then I'm not gonna check out now because I don't wanna uh, put in my, uh, information, but we do have uh, a demo uh, public mm -hmm. uh, Giti instance where you can create new repositories and you can manage issues, uh, set up branch protections to ensure that um, every pull request is approved by a certain number of people and that it passes CI before it gets merged. Absolutely. That's a, that's a complete uh, you know, Git server and client and uh, with a familiar UI. And I really like this uh, flow and onboarding flow of the new instance actually, uh, very clean and helps helps the user throughout the steps. This was, uh, this was super cool. Uh, yeah, so um, it's a fairly standard um, uh, Git projects. You have your Go modules in the base repository, a fairly detailed readme of what to do after you clone. You can just get clone and build the binary yourself and you can uh, just run it right away um, and guides on how to contribute to the project. Uh, we're translated into over, I think, 20 different languages around the world uh, with uh, quite a few of them uh, like fully translated into that language. Um, suggestions on where to go after you started running it of like asking questions being able to like uh, join up with uh, the uh, project and chat with the team um, sponsors of the project people who uh, individual sponsors uh, an FAQ on how to pronounce it, but everyone pronounces it differently. Uh, I say Giti, some people say Giddy, some say Gitia. It's all acceptable. I I don't mind whatsoever. Um, and uh, the reason and an FAQ we get why we're hosting elsewhere, why aren't we hosting on our own? 
while we're hosting the majority of our repositories on Giti.com, we just have one remaining right here, but because of tens of thousands of pull requests, issues, comments, uh, just the migration project, uh, the migration of being able to export all of that data into a new system uh, runs up against rate limits. And so it's a fairly long process, but it's uh, actively being worked on, uh, being able to let people know that the project's MIT licensed, as well as just uh, an overview of uh, what they might expect uh, when they start the project of having some screenshots. Yeah, I love it. And as you said, it's uh, for, for this kind of project and code base with all these contributions throughout many years, you know, porting it, um, migrating everything to GT takes a little bit of time, but I reckon this is something people can expect uh, this year to where the, the, the GT code base will be hosted on GT Cloud and people can contribute there. And, and already today, uh, people who are using GitHub or GitLab, or, or soon enough, they will be able to just migrate everything and, and get yeah. started, right? Yeah, uh, Giti has a built-in migration tool already. So even if you're not using uh, Giti Cloud, you can still migrate from uh, other providers into your own instance, wherever it's hosted. Um, <laughs> and we're also looking at ways of being able to like uh, support uh, contributors, being able to uh, contribute to the project wherever they are. If uh, they still want to send a pull request to GitHub, they can do that, but uh, directing uh, most of people to uh, the main source of truth of where the project uh, will eventually live. This was uh, excellent. Thank you so much. <laughs> this was uh, great. Any, any last uh, words that you might like to leave people with? And of course, we already saw people can come, uh, check out the repository, take Kitty for a spin, contribute. Um, so any, any, any last words before we wrap this up? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, just, um, hop into chat if, uh, you have any questions, uh, we're very happy to help. If you uh, want to start contribute, uh, we've, uh, mentored, uh, many people to be, uh, with zero go uh, development experience to being able to like, uh, work on it, uh, every day. Um, and just. Um, even if it's not uh, like it's you you're contributing to, uh, just uh, look for uh, an open source project they're using and check them out. And uh, maybe eventually you'll be able to uh, contribute to them as well and uh, just share your knowledge and your experience. Excellent. Thank you so much, Mati. This was wonderful. Um, it was really great to have you. Wishing you happy growth and, and best of luck in 2024 and beyond. Thanks so much. Uh, thanks for having me. Take care. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Thank you.